Hey guys, this is Nick from bonbonsai.com and today I'm going to talk about how you should select or what bonsai pot you should select. Now before I get started, I want to tell you about my bonsai book. If you're interested in learning about how to prune, trim, and sculpt your bonsai, then make sure you go to the link above at bonbonsai.com forward slash bonsai book. Getting into the topic at hand, which is the right bonsai pot for you? As with all types of plant pots, bonsai pots are available in a huge array of sizes, shapes, and colors. However, making sure you select the correct bonsai pot for your bonsai can make the difference between a good-looking bonsai and an incredible-looking bonsai. But be warned, the pot you choose can have either positive or detrimental effects to the growth of your beloved bonsai tree. Firstly, if you have a young bonsai that's still growing quite quickly, then you will need to look at several training pots before you decide on a final show pot. When deciding which bonsai pot you should buy, never pick one that requires you to cut a significant amount of roots. If you want to reduce the size of your pot or roots, then you should do so gradually. You need to go down one size, one pot size at a time before eventually reaching the size you want uh, or the one that you find desirable. Make sure the pot you are considering has great drainage and is entirely frost proof. This will help ensure your bonsai safety and health all year round, no matter if it's indoors or outdoors. If you're selecting a glazed pot, then be sure that only the outside of the pot is glazed. This is because the bonsai will need a rough surface on the inside for the roots to grab onto and establish themselves. Now what pot for what tree? The type of bonsai pot you should get is determined by the kind of tree you're growing as well as the style that you're aiming at. Conifers lend themselves to brilliantly, uh, brilliantly to naturally colored unglazed pots, whereas deciduous trees look good in glazed or unglazed and in just about any color experiment some to find out what the correct what cr the pot for you is that okay pretty much experiment you'll find the correct pot and especially consider pastel colors for your deciduous trees or a brightly colored pot for your flowering tree you also need to consider how much room the roots will need for your particular choice of tree Cascading trees will need a deep pot with plenty of room for the roots to grow down and so that the branches can hang over the side without touching the ground or the table. If you have a heavily glazed pot, then remember the color of the glaze will age and wear slightly over time. Many people will wipe the glaze with French polish in order to speed up the process which gives your glazed pot a slightly more natural and aged feel. Now that's all for this video. I'm going to be making a lot more. I'm talking about dozens more. So make sure you subscribe, and I'm going to at least have two videos come out every week for at least the next year or two. So, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.